Hi guys, on this video we're looking at Crash 100 index and then we're going to look at Boom 500 index also after looking at Crash 1000. So we are on the daily time frame of which is the 24 hour. And then if you want to uh, get like the best broker so that you can trade like these Boom and Crash instruments, you can just use the link in the description below. So looking at the overall market structure, we have been pushing to the downside, creating higher lows and lower lows on the bottom. So what we're looking for here is continuations to the downside of which we have the overall market structure of which is this one here. You can just use like a trend line just like this. And then as you can see, we have multiple touches at the top and then multiple touches below the trend line. As you can see, two touches, three touches at the top and two touches at the bottom. So initially what we expect is for the market to give us the third touch before deciding to go to the down to the upside or continue to the downside. So that's what I'll be waiting for. And then looking at the top of the structure, we have this area here of which we expect that mass psychology activation whereby the market can just push to the upside, create the double top formation in form of that mass psychology, and then we can push to the downside. And then another scenario that I'm seeing is that we also have this ascending channel as our confluence around this area here. Two touches also at the top and two touches at the bottom, just like this. And then what I'll be expecting for me to look for those selling opportunities is whereby if we break this ascending channel and then come back and retest, then I'll be looking for those selling opportunities just because this can be an area of value whereby we have the left shoulder, the head, and then the right shoulder. That's where we look for those nice selling opportunities. So let's look at the four hour time frame, and then down to the hour time frame so that we can get like a clear picture of what's going on here. So looking at the four hour time frame, that's where we look for momentum each and every time. How the market is moving, is it impulsive or is it corrective? Then we can further decide on the entries that we are looking for. So looking at the structures, I think we are going to break in a few hours or a few minutes. And then after we break, then we look for those retests around this point here, around this area here, whereby we have some type of a head and shoulders pattern that has formed up. And then we also have like an ascending within an ascending, whereby we got that break and then retest and then it clearly pushed to the downside on the hour time frame. So let me just remove these and then draw out like the structure here. Then what I'll do is that I'll just push back these trend lines here so that I can make sure that I'm catering for the structures correctly. And then the overall target is at the lows of which is here. This is the overall target. And then looking at the hour time frame. So on the hour time frame, we got like that clear break that I was talking about and then the retest came through. And then let me just refresh these. So this is a pattern on its own. That's why I did like my pattern separation around this point. And then, like I said, what I'll be expecting is for the break of structure. And then we can come back and retest in this point here. And then we can look for those cells from here to here, from to the lows of which is our overall target, this one. And then if this setup does not work, then I'll be looking at this one here on the lows of which this is a high probability setup. We have multiple touches around this point here of which it could be the one that goes to the downside and then banks us a lot of profits. So let me just remove these areas. And then initially the thought process is very simple. Like I said, most of the time you don't get like your tight flags on these type of instruments. You just get the break and a retest and then you look for those cells. As long as you still have like that mass psychology activation in your trading plan, then it's okay. You can take like the break and retest. So looking at this area here, then this is the cell area here. And then your stop loss can be just above this point. If you want to stay in the, in the trade or if you want to 
have like a tight stop you can have it like at the top of this zone here the first zone that i have drawn up and then you target the lows for about eight percent so let's look at boom 500 so looking at boom 500 on the 24 hour chart the same process has to go on and then as you can see we have been pushing to the downside same as uh, your crash 1000 so we have the sell and then we have the corrective move here in form of an ascending channel we have the push down a smaller version of a correction and we have another push to the downside of which we had a correction around this point so we look for the same uh, thought process push to the downside now we have that corrective move so initially we look for those selling opportunities we are following the market structure as you can see now let me just remove a few of these so that we can just focus on the current market structure of which it's this one here. So initially what I'll be looking at is this area here. You can just box out like your price action. So this is the area that I'm looking at and then we can further refine it on the lower time frame. So we have like this ascending channel that is going on here. Two touches at the top and two touches at the bottom. So initially, this is a simple setup whereby we can look for the first touch, second touch, and then third touch, we look for those selling opportunities up until the 90% of which is at the lows. And then let me just remove these areas here, these drawings here, and then switching to the four hour time frame. So on the four hour time frame, like I said, we can have like areas that we can use as our POIs or point of values. So the POI that we can have is this one here and this one here at the top of the structure, just because initially the market cannot give us like some type of a selling opportunity around this area here. If we get like a selling opportunity around here, of which is the extreme zone, we can look for those risk entries at the top of the structure. But initially, now we are just focusing on this first touch, second touch, and then third touch. We look for those selling opportunities, guys. And then initially, what I'm looking at on the four-hour time frame, as I said, it's the momentum. So, so far, the momentum is okay. Just because what I'm expecting is for the market to clearly push to the upside very correctively and structurally up until we tap that third touch area of which it will be in line with this POI here. And then we can create that mass psychology of which it would be nice to have like this type of setup going on. And then after that, we can get like a push to the downside and then come back and retest. Then we look for those cells up until the third touch, first target, and then second touch or second target would be at the 90%. So let's look at the four hour, the hour time frame and see if everything is in line with the higher time frames. So on the hour chart, that's where we look for our entries. So looking at the hour chart, everything is going according to plan. As you can see, the ascending channel is forming up nicely, getting to our POIs. And then initially what we look for is for the market to clearly do this type of pattern at the top of the structure in the right areas of which it can just push to the upside just like this, structurally the same way that it has been pushing. And then we get that mass psychology activation. Then we sell off just like this. Then initially we can have like an extended ascending channel like this, whereby this is the area that we look for those retests. And then initially this is the entry that I'm looking forward to seeing before I can take action on this instrument. And then this is the sell stop loss just above. First target is here. And then the second target is around this point for 13%. So that is how I'm looking at uh, our boom 500. And then the POI is this one here and this one here, of which if we reach this point here, that's the extreme POI whereby I can look for those risk entries at the top of the structure around here. And then we can look for those cells. So yeah, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you on another one.